Frank Warren, a, a big card in Newcastle. We've got Amir Khan on the top of the bill, but an intriguing chief support as well. Yeah, we've come up with something I think which is uh, a really cracking fight and uh, is putting uh, Kevin Mitchell in, who's coming up a weight to like, lightweight to challenge. Uh, Bradish Prescott in the final, or sorry, in eliminates after the world title. As you all know, Bradish Prescott is the guy who uh, beat him here. And he's only lost on the career spectacularly. So Kevin uh, fancies the job and thinks that he can do what Amir couldn't. So it's, uh, you know, it's great for the fans. I know you've not seen too much of Prescott before he beat Khan. I take it you've uh, been studying the tapes. I've looked at, looked at lots of tapes, and uh, I think that Amir's got it. Sorry, Amir. Sorry. I've looked at lots of tapes, and I think that um, Kevin's got a got an excellent chance to beat um, British Press Club. However, that's all about him maintaining his discipline in the fight and actually um, ensuring that he doesn't get careless. And he's, he's an exciting talent, isn't he, Kevin? He's been knocking on the door of, of world class yeah, for a while. He's been in, you know, he's, he's had some injuries, which have been a great shame. He's had a big problem with his hand, but now hopefully that's after an operation that's settled down. Um, and now he's, uh, I think, he's ready to be let off the leash. And the, uh, the good fights keep on coming. There's a, a packed undercard with the Olympians as well. And a, a debut for, for Ronnie Heffron. Tell us a bit about all those guys, really. Well, the Olympians are all having their fifth fight. Um, we're taking them up into the, uh, the uh, North East. I think they, the fans up there are going to be in for a treat. I thought they all looked excellent in their last fights. Um, James, uh, Frankie, Gavin and uh, and Billy Joe. I think they really did well and, uh, and I was pleased to well they performed. And young Ronnie Heffron, he's uh, one of the hottest young amateurs around. He's got tremendous pedigrees, won all sorts of titles. And I'm looking forward to him uh, making his debut and hopefully making his way through the uh, professional ranks. And going back to the Olympians very quickly, there was talk after their last performances of, of title fights in 2010. Do you think that's yeah, a realistic I really do. Prospect? I think if they keep progressing the way I hope they will, you've got to remember, they've got great amateur pedigree. It's not like they're, they're sort of... I mean, obviously, they're learning their trade and craft as, as professionals, but they've got good pedigree anyway, and I think that they, I think the skills that they've got and uh, the potential they've got, you can, we could step them up a little bit quicker. And it's not just them, is it? There's, there's lots of talented young prospects about. There are. I think, it's a, I think you know, British boxing... Is, uh, is on a higher game. You know, David Hay done well the weekend. Uh, he came back with a belt, and I think the rest of the, uh, you know, the rest of these youngsters, I think, you know, can be inspired and emulate what he's done, what Amir's done, and what you know, what other fathers done. There's a really good crop of youngsters around at the moment. Frank Warren, thank you very much. Thank you.